tonight we are at the Victoria Black Swan Inn in San Antonio, Texas. This is a phenomenal mansion built in the late 1800s. It's rich with history. It's crawling with paranormal activity. And I think most notably are some of the dolls in this mansion are very active. But let's talk about the history of this place because it's very interesting. So the grounds are actually Native American in root. Native Americans settled here on these grounds prior to anything else that's happened with this mansion. There's also the Battle of Salado Creek where over a thousand people died. There's one documented Texan soldier who died, um, Mr. Jett. He actually died behind the building that we're in right now. And then the mansion, the mansion was built. It was erected in the late 1800s and a lot of tragedy happened here within these walls. And even the owner, um, her mother passed in the mansion as well. I like this room. I've gotten really good light anomalies. It'll be like one single blue light, almost like a laser ball of light. Okay. But then one becomes three and three becomes like 20 and 20 will explode. So it's not pot. I haven't figured out a way that anybody could be doing it. It's actually in the room. Okay. Because the room will just fill up with these little blue light balls. Everybody says that the doll's heads turn, like they'll be looking one way the first time they go by, and then they'll be looking another way. This room used to have a doll in it um, that a lot of people would come and sit in that chair and talk to the doll for hours. Like, they would say the doll was talking to them. I've had the doll for probably like 35 years or so. Okay. Um, and nobody ever said anything bad about it until there was another show coming through to film and their medium wanted to do, a, we were just, just like we're doing now, but we stopped right here and he's like, hey, can I, you know, do a little five minute with this um, doll? And I'm like, okay, that's weird, but sure, go ahead. And then he plays it back and I hear him say, hi, my name is Tim, do you want to talk? And the doll says, sit down. <gasps> that's the second man, Tim, just make sure that nobody the truth is not completely by yourself. You want to make sure that there's somebody else in the room with you. Okay. And when you go in, you focus on what it is you want or who it is you want to communicate with. If there's somebody from your past. It's used a lot for, for grief. But you stare into mirrors, so yeah. you see an infinity reflection. If you want just enough light, if you can, it's so hot, I don't, you might want to do it like later. It almost like makes a time shift. It's like you can hear it go, and it like, while you're standing here, you'll feel the shift of mm -hmm. it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like. So, Peck, tell me what happened. I had power, and I didn't have power. So, I took it apart, and now I have power. Again. And then Dawson had power, and he was shooting, and it was fine, and then he didn't have power. Now he has power again. So, everybody has power <laughs> for now. Uh, what did you do, Ray? The milking barn is really a milk barn, okay. so it's one of the older buildings on the property. Mm -hmm. um, there was, I'm pretty sure there was a murder in there. Uh, it's where most of the time I think Sebastian Ripstein comes through, so you get a big okay. shadow, masculine presence. Typically what will happen is that if there's sensory you have men and women, what you'll notice is that men get separated from the women in the milk barn. Okay. Randomly, if that starts to happen or if you start to feel kind of like touchy-feely things, just go out of the barn and change the energy. There's nothing on, there's no lights or anything over here. The power cords are over here. It wouldn't pick those up. It only picks up what's in front of it. It's almost like where that thing is opened. It's holding at 0.9. It is like 1.0, 1, 1 0.9. It's going down a little bit. Nope, no, it's not right now. These are the readings that we got at Woodbine. Let's see if I go up. It's gone, it's gone. It's leaving. See? Yeah, it it seems like it was more the case than the doll. That's weird. Then if I go back. Let's see if it goes up. Yeah, see it's going up? It's so weird. It's not really, her. it's not like her. It's almost like this case, like the opening to the case. See it? I mean, there's no explanation for this. There's no electricity. There's nothing. If I go higher, it starts to drop. 
Oh my, okay, we're at 1.2. I don't remember how high it got at the uh, wood vine, but, well, we know this is one. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm getting a reading in here too. So immediately when we got out the EMF detectors, so I brought a, a few different kinds of EMF detectors with me this time, and all of them went off near Abigail's case, which in our experience has never happened, um, especially the millimeter. Our millimeter is very difficult to go off, but our poultry tune, our rim pod, our millimeter, everything went off. The, the millimeter shot up high with milligals, just a very active location within this property. And uh, the owner was telling us that Abigail has met Annabelle, which is writing. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know enough about Annabelle to talk about her. She's just very, very, a very powerful doll that's haunted, um, goes back to the Warrens, goes back to uh, the Conjuring. Everybody's familiar with the Conjuring. But that doll has so much electromagnetic energy it was setting off all of our devices. And then the room where it's pitch black, they have the seat and they have two mirrors that face one another. Everything was going off in that room too. It was terrifying to sit in. I sat in it, um, not by myself, but just even for the photos that I was trying to take of the room, you can just feel something. You can just feel the charge. That room in this house, to me, just my experience walking around, going to the different rooms, that room feels very different. It feels very alive. I think the most notable experience that we've had tonight is Abigail, and there is a good reason that she's locked behind that case.